Chunky 21 my name is Adaska and today I will be showing you how to make some black bean enchiladas so like share subscribe to my channel and also turn on the post notification now the first thing that we are going to do is cut up a large russet potato or two medium size russet potatoes and then boil it okay so the cool thing about this recipe is that I am using some of the same ingredients that I used from the loaded baked potato into the enchiladas so we're gonna cut this in half All I do is chop, 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 no matter what. Got food on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the kitchen, everybody bellies go up. And they sit out, and they sit out. Okay, so while the potatoes are boiling, we have to be a little bit smart about our time. Cut the onions up, the spinach up, our cilantro up. And uh, so that by the time the potatoes are done, or al dente. Our ingredients will be done, and we can just saute the onions and, and peppers and jalapenos and our black beans and cook that all together so that everything can be done in, you know, all at once. And even when you drizzle the oil in the skillet and the onions go hot And they stay there, and they stay there And they up, down, up, down, up, down Cause even when you chop the peppers And you put them in the skillet and they get hot and they swither Standing in the kitchen, chopping the cilantro Every day I cook more food to make you go, whoa my stock go up, the bellies go up, the bands go up. I'm gonna put one tablespoon, no, three quarter tablespoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of oregano, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one tablespoon of chili powder. So now it is time to put the black bean mixture into the flour tortilla. And now you're gonna add the filling and mixture in the tortillas. Roll them up, roll them up, roll them up and put them inside the pan. So you can bake, bake, bake at, at 350 degrees and pour the sauce. For the enchilada sauce, put you you a boss. Go ahead and pour that sauce. Okay, so for our optional avocado cilantro sauce that we're going to drizzle on top. Uh, it is just a few simple ingredients which we are going to use coriander, avocado, creamy one, lime, olive oil. And okay so all I'm going to do is uh, squeeze this lime into a, you can either do it in a blender or a bullet whatever you choose I'm not making mine look too pretty today cuz I got to a late start my daughter had a play date today so we made some cake pops so there was some cleaning up the kitchen and all of that so Okay, 
So the avocado is in there, like so. Then we are going to just putting a quarter of a bunch. And it probably would end up to be like a quarter of maybe like a quarter cup. That's what I'm thinking it'll be. But you just put a quarter of a bunch of coriander or cilantro. Cilantro. All we're going to do is add this in here. Okay. And I am going to measure this just so that I can give you the proper dosage because I was not going to measure whatsoever. I'm going to take this lime, squeeze it. And by the time I am done with this, then the enchiladas will be done. And I can pour this sauce on top. So this is about how much it is. I'm going to pour it in here. I wonder if I should measure it. Maybe it's about three tablespoons of... Yeah, it's about three tablespoons of lime juice. I'm going to put a quarter cup of water in here. Let's see, I'm going to put some oil. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Then we are going to blend this up. Actually, I'm going to put in eighth cup of water in here and I'm gonna blend it. This is fine the way it is but I am going to add some nutritional yeast to this and blend this up and then okay you guys it is now time for the taste test so let's see Let's see what this wonderful enchilada tastes like. Mm. Oh, this is good. Mmm. This is really good. This is really delicious.